Hi again, everybody. Um, I'm just going to do a quick video. I made one of these, like, last year. It was, like, the first video that I actually made. Um, about how to tell if MAC pigments are real or fake. And I have three different styles of pigments here. And only one of them is real. So... Can you tell which one it is? This one is old gold. As you can see, there's the box. And you got the pigment. Then we've got the nameless one. got rose gold now would you be able to tell which one of those was the fake one I don't know but I'm gonna give you a heads up on how to tell which is real which is fake um, well I'm gonna start off with this isn't in focus. Mm. Oh, there was one else. Um, the one that's obviously fake. It has no name. There's no sticker on the bottom. It's just printed on. When it comes to these two, it's a little bit harder to see a difference. But I'll tell you which one's the real one. It's old gold. This one. So, let's start off with the obviously fake one. I'm going to compare it to the real one, so bear with me. Okay, this is the real one, this one's the fake one. As you can see, the real one has got a sticker barcode. This one has just got it printed on with a sticker. A little round sticker with a number on it. Um, to the back. As you can see, the fake one is printed bigger than the real one. It's also got this weird thingy down here, which the real one doesn't have. Um, onto the ingredients. This is the real one. I think, yes. This one's the real one. This one's the fake. The printed... This one's printed a lot bigger than this one for the ingredients. Um, apart from that, on the front, the net weight and stuff on this one is printed a lot smaller than the fake one. Also, I don't know if you can see, but the colour of the boxes is slightly different. This one is a lot more black. Than the fake one. So then we'll compare oops, this one, which is also a fake, to the old gold, which is a real one. The bottom is different. The sticker on old gold is a lot different to this one, but I wouldn't read too much into that. Hang on. Because this one's real, but it's got the same sort of sticker. But, yeah, sticker's slightly different. Again, the ingredients on rose gold are bigger than the real one. Um, and again, we've got this weird thing in the fake one. And there's no number on this one neither. As you can see they've both got the stickers. This is why this one is a pretty good fake. Because usually you just look for that sticker on the top and say, yep yeah, that's real. Not necessarily anymore. So we'll have a look. Um, 
I'm going to open this one up now, the obviously fake one. It stays back to Mac and everything still on it. Everything looks pretty real, to be honest. But look at the bottom. Let me open the old gold one. This is the real one. It's got the sticker on the bottom saying um, old gold and it's got an A number. The fake one has just got 73. No colour name or anything. Um, also, this one is a pretty good dupe at the back of the jar to be honest. As you can see they are pretty similar apart from the bottom text on here is slightly bolder than on the real Mac. But apart from that, tops of the um, jars look the same. This is when it is becomes absolutely clear that it's a fake. See that? That is, if your pigments have this, this is a surefire sign that they are fake. So very, very fake. So, if they have that, they're fake. A real MAC pigment, like old gold, should have, shouldn't have that funnel thing. It should have a little cap thing, and then there's your pigment. So, I'm going to open the rose gold now. This is also fake. Again, back to Mac is exactly the same. One thing that I did notice with this one that's different to the, the other fake Mac one is the fact that there's like slits. I don't know if you can see. The slits here, which normal Macs don't have. Like I'll show you this one. This one's the real Mac. It's just got the cardboard along there. It's not got any slits at the side. Whereas this one does. So that's something else that I noticed about the box. Um, as you can see, it's actually got a sticker on the bottom saying rose gold. You see, Mac have two different sorts of stickers. They have the see-through stickers, which I think I have an example of here. Yeah. This is 3D silver. I don't know if you can see because it's yeah, 3D silver. That's a see-through sticker, so um, that's the one that this one's ripping off, basically. And again, it's got the A45, which is like a real Mac. Um, but th this is where it becomes a dead giveaway. The back. This one's old gold, which is a real one. This one's rose gold, which is a fake. It is blatantly obvious. Everything on this one, which is the fake one, is centred. Whereas everything on the real one is sort of left aligned, as you can see. And it's also got this thing here, which on the Mac one, the real one, is around the other side and it's smaller. It's just there. And just have another look. This is the real one. This one's a fake one. So um so again the tops on them both are exactly the same. But I'll open up this one. This one's rose gold, the fake one remember. This is where it comes. The dupes have got so good. The dupes, I mean the fakes, it's got a cap lid. Just like the real Mac does. There's your pigment. Oh, I've just got it everywhere. So, it's a fake. 
I'm just checking against all my others. This one's another real MAC one that I've got. This one's helium. And if you can see, I'm trying to hold them straight. The real MAC, the MAC is printed a little bit higher than on the fake one, which is this one. I'll test it against other ones as well. This one's the old gold one. I don't know if you can see. And against violet pigment. Same again. Real MAC is printed a little bit higher. So, so to summarise, don't trust pigments from eBay, I think is the best thing to be saying. Um, if you want real MAC pigments, just go to MAC. It's worth paying the extra money. This is how good fake MAC pigments have become. So, I looked at this on eBay and thought that it was definitely real, and it's not. So, just buy them from a MAC counter. These ones are really easy to spot because they haven't got names or anything, but now they've started putting names and the, um, the lid thing on. It's a lot harder to tell. So, it's uh, worth keeping an eye out, I suppose. So, everybody just be vigilant and report anybody you see selling fake Mac. Easy as that. So, I hope this helps some people out. Um, I'm going to post this as a video response to my other video in which I look like a boy. Yeah, <laughs> I really do. Anyway, um, yeah, be careful. I hope this helps people out. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. I'll try and answer them as far as my knowledge goes on MAC pigments. But yeah, for now, thank you for watching, everybody, and I'll see you all soon.